Hi y'all, this is So So Blessed. Welcome to the blessed place. <laughs> I was going to say blessed for less place. Welcome to the blessed place. This is a quick quest for less update. I'm about to go to lunch with my mom, which I'm forever going somewhere to eat y'all. Um, several of you asked me, well if I cook once a month or once every other month, who does the cooking in our household? Nobody. That's bad, it's sad to say, but we eat out. We eat out almost every day. If not every day, at least about four days a week. Um, when we do eat in, we usually have something like um, sandwiches, manwich, you know, soup, things of that nature. So I got to get better with that. I'm going to talk about that in a few minutes when I sit down. But I just wanted you all to see. That it's going down slowly but surely. This is my biggest problem area right here. Y'all, if I could just lose all of this, I ain't got to lose them. I ain't got to lose that. I ain't got to lose that. I don't even keep these big old fat arms. If I could just lose that, what I call tire. You know, the, the tire that you put on a car. I feel like it's a big old tire. But I lost all that. Sure, y'all couldn't tell me nothing. <laughs> Anyways, but it is coming off slowly but surely. Put this down. Excuse me, y'all. Anyways, what I want to tell y'all right quick, um, speaking of Quest for Less, I'm really struggling with my portion control. Actually, it's not even con uh, portion control. I'm struggling in my mind with my eyes being bigger than my belly. I told my daughter that... Now this may sound very weird and crazy, I don't know, but I feel like God, I, I've been praying to God for probably 20 years to help me with my diet, appetite, etc. And I always was hoping that he would, I would just wake up and he would miraculously, just miraculously imbue me with willpower to exercise good portion control. But you know, that never happened. Crazy, crazy thoughts, crazy idea. Um, but anyways, but I feel like over the last year, and especially the last, say, six, five, six months or so, that God has miraculously given me a... Now, I know that sounds crazy, but what I mean is, I, my stomach can only hold so much food before I feel so sick. It's like no matter how, whenever I eat meals, I always start to feel the end of the day. I'm uncomfortable. I'm 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 burping and I'm. Y'all last night I had my husband patting me in the back, y'all, like a baby burping me. Like I mean, literally, like baby, pat me right here, pat me right there. And as he patting me, I'm like. Bleh. Pat me some more on my back right here. Yeah. I'm like, a big, he's like, you big baby. <laughs> but every night I have this un, totally uncomfortable feeling um, because I've eaten too much. And not that I've eaten right before bed. Y'all, I'm, I'm talking about eating at 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the day, 3 o'clock in the day, and at, and at or 5 o'clock in the evening, and at 11 o'clock midnight, I'm feeling sick. They hadn't eaten since like five or six or seven hours, but I got this, I don't know, this feeling. I've never had gastric bypass, of course, but it. But what I've learned about gastric bypass and what I've heard about gastric bypass is that one, after the surgery, if you've eaten too much, you get sick. And that's what I feel like every time I eat, I've eaten way too much, and it's not agreeing with me, and it's like it wants to come back up. And I, I just feel horrible. But I know what it is. It's my portion control. It's like I went to lunch the other day and I ordered fish and chips, you know, fish and french fries. And they gave us four pieces of fish. Y'all, why couldn't I just eat two? No, I ate appetizer and four pieces of fish and fries and the bread that they bring to the table. So I've just been eating too much. I, I think I think I was doing even better with my portion control at the beginning of my weight loss. But I don't know if I've gotten comfortable with the weight loss, 
because I've lost about 45 pounds and I'm regressing. I don't know what it is. I'm still working out hard and I think that's what's helping me to still lose the weight. I'm working out hard, but I just can't wrap my brain around Deidre E until you first feel full. See, it's like, I, it's like I don't know when I feel full. I don't know I feel full until I feel sick. And I just, I, I just don't know. I don't know how to rectify that. I mean, I, I'm a praying. I'm a praying, you know. I know y'all probably say, what prayer got to do with it? Did you just stop eating? But <laughs> some things you just need some prayer with, you know. Uh, some things only come out by, by prayer and fasting. And this is one of them, my appetite control. So I'm getting ready to go to lunch with my mom, speaking of all of this stuff, and then I'm still going to lunch. But I'm going to try to successfully today exercise portion control. And another, a little trick, a little psychological trick I did with myself is I said, Deidre, you can eat what you want, but only eat a little bit. You can always, I'm giving you permission that you can either box up your food and eat it later or you can eat again. If you feel hungry an hour later, two hours later, three hours later, I'm giving you permission that you can eat again. But when you're eating, you can only eat a certain portion until you start to feel a little full, a little uncomfortable. Or maybe not even feel full because sometimes I don't know when I feel full, but just stop yourself. You know, eat half your food, whether you feel full or not. Only eat half of your food and save the rest for later. So I'm going to try that in the next few days and see how that works because I hate this uncomfortable feeling of, of being filled up with gas and, and, and pain in my in my you know uh, chest and back and and uh, just like I feel like just gas is just constantly trapped in my body. Um, so I don't know anybody else had you know I know we are such a obese country that I know it just can't be me that really has a problem with um, appetite suppression and and like I said my eyes just been bigger than my stomach I mean if you give me 10 pieces of chicken I'm gonna eat the 10 pieces of chicken no I'm gonna eat nine of them by the 10 by the ninth one I'm just like just done and then like then an hour later I'm like oh I shouldn't have ate those nine pieces of chicken or I'll eat a burger and fries and then maybe another burger and it's like oh I shouldn't have had that second burger or I eat a bowl of cereal and it was so good I love Honey Nut Cheerios and I love Frosted Flakes and I'll eat another and it was so good I eat another bowl of cereal and I'm like oh I shouldn't have had that second bowl of cereal it's like I always have regret after every meal I have regret that I shouldn't have done something and my goal my goal for the next week is going to be when I'm done eating have no regret no regret that I should not have had that third piece or that fourth piece or that second plate or so that's gonna be my goal that's just my mini goal I, I, this week my goal is to eat and afterwards no regret alright um, y'all share with me when you know what your problem areas are in in maintaining a healthy um, weight or in weight loss or anything like that alright y'all in spite of the fact that I am having a real problem with my um, portion controls, I am doing it. I'm doing it, y'all. But it's a lot of hard work, y'all. I was jogging on the treadmill last night. And y'all, I'm jogging and I'm crying. I'm at Lake, um, LA Fitness. I'm jogging and I'm crying. I'm jogging and I'm crying. I can't do it. I can't do it. Yes, you can, Mama. You can do it. I can't do this. But I did it, y'all. First time ever. First time ever. When I'm going to say ever, you know what I mean? Ever in my fat life. <laughs> my athletic life was a whole nother life ago. So when I say first time ever, I just mean first time ever in my adult, obese, unhealthy life. Um, but it's the first time ever I ran on a treadmill. Y'all, I'm so proud. I'm so proud. Y'all, look, look at the rocks. Look at the rocks. Just got to get rid of the fat underneath the rocks. <laughs> All right, y'all. Love y'all. Y'all be blessed. We can do this, y'all. Let's put in the work. Let's put in the work. We can do this. And let's keep each other encouraged and motivated. Y'all definitely keep me encouraged. You keep me inspired. You keep me motivated. And y'all, you all are the kindest, sweetest, most loving encouraging people over here in the blessed place and y'all when the lord bless me real good i'm gonna bless y'all real good y'all be blessed love y'all